What's up, guys? I just, uh, this weekend, well, let me start over here. So it's been a while since I made a video. Anyway, this weekend, uh, me and my wife, we went to southern Missouri to a little town down in the Ozarks called Norwood. It's about an hour out of Springfield. Um, and, you know, I had, uh, damn near lost hope for this nation. I'm not too sure about it still. But uh, this high school had 35 kids graduate. Yeah, pretty small. So I pull up. And uh, I'm not from a very big town either, but, you know, we pull a lot of kids from the area. So I'd say their graduating class is probably well in the hundreds. And eh, maybe low hundreds. Like 120, whatever. Anyway, long story short, roll up in here. They're doing it right. These people are raising men. Every one of them had boots on, jeans, button-up shirts. Some of them had cowboy hats. Most of them didn't. They weren't at all tatted out. Not that tats are a bad thing, but you know what I'm saying. They shook your hand. They were respectful. But they were still kids. They still laughed. They still had, you know, smart-ass comments, whatever. And the, the ladies, they were raising young ladies. I didn't see any spray paint colored red, green, blue, non-natural human hair colors. And uh, when we were hanging out, I got brought my teenage boys. And, of course, they're in that mode right here in our town of, uh, you know, we're wearing hoodies with the shorts and Crocs and our hair has like this thing we want to be Elvis except it's lazy you know the thing that hangs over the front you know because you know but shaved in the back so it kind of looks like my hat damn near except for its hair instead so it's ridiculous anywho pretty boys more or less or want to be pretty boys these young men looked at my my boy and his buddy like they were from another the planet when they saw him they didn't even really know how to talk to him but once they started talking they all started getting along because my boy's a man he's just sucked into this uh online world i'd say anyway the point of all this is there's still some towns in america that raise their kids to be young men and women and to show it. I don't know how many of these towns there are. I know there's a lot of small towns, but I don't know the people in them. This is a glimpse. You know, you go to a graduation ceremony and things kind of get a little personal, you know. But they're probably outnumbered. A few of them are going to college, the first thought in my head. They were going to Mizzou, you know, big liberal school. So the first thought in my head, well, these kids are pretty straight now. They're going to be ruined when they come out of there. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Just want to let you know, guys know that there is some, some places still out there. I don't know how many, but some. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're in a pretty small town. And the influence of uh, St. Louis, even though it's well over an hour away, is still creeping I've been moving away from it as much as I can keep your head on straight don't let your meatloaf see you guys